Hey guys, Christy here from DeSilva Life, and if you are new around here, let me just tell you, I am a huge fan of ClickUp. You can tell by just looking at the content on our channel. Well, for this video, I'm super excited because I'm going to show you some of my top, like all-time favorite ClickUp tips. The whole goal of ClickUp is to save you time, right? Well, there are so many little features and shortcuts that a lot of people don't know about that actually save you so much time searching for things, adding tasks, you'll see. Anyway, don't wanna to take too much time out of the actual tutorial, so I wanna dive right in. Let's go over some of my absolute favorite ClickUp tips. Favorite ClickUp tips, let's go. So ClickUp obviously is a powerhouse for all things productivity and organization, but there are so many things as well that ClickUp will do to save you time and energy, right? So some simple things that I wanna show you, a couple features that are really, really helpful, and then also some ways that I've set up and utilized ClickUp to also just save time. Okay, so first let's start with two of my top things. Number one is minimizing tasks. So you know when you're on the internet and you minimize a tab because you're like, I want this easy access, but I don't want it like in my face right the second I have to go into something else. You can actually do the same thing with tasks. So if I click into a task and say I'm working on this and I say, you know what, I'm gonna be working on this today and I just wanna make sure I have it easy access or I need to go pop into a document or something to get information to do this task, you can actually click this minimize button right here and it's gonna go down into your task tray. Now, it may not look like this at first. If you go into this shortcut menu, if I unpin the task tray, it's gonna look like this and it'll say you have one task here and then it'll come up in a list. So let's do another one. If I minimize this task, now you're gonna see I have two here. You're gonna see what the name of that task is and then this is just color coding the status, right? So one is in progress, one is ready for review. And so I prefer it pinned down here below so I can see like, okay, here's what I'm working on, but this is totally preference. And now you'll see if I click into these tasks, now I can easily just click and switch back and forth. And now I can also go into someone somewhere else. Let's go into this client dashboard and I'll be able to access this task here as well. You can also do this with a doc, which is really amazing too. So just a simple tip, but honestly can make the world of a difference. So then if you want to X out of these, you can then just click X and then nothing left in your task tray. You can also, let me show you one more thing. If I go back, um, you can also switch them around. So if I minimize these two, then you can kind of line them up and switch the order, et cetera. Okay, so that is the first tip. Now let's move on to the second tip, which is the favorites bar. So again, you may access certain things most often. Maybe there's something you access every day, or maybe there is a task or a project that you are currently focusing on, and you wanna always have the quick link right there to save clicks and time, right? So this is where your favorites bar comes into play. Now yours is gonna look like this at first when you're in your account, and you can, again, have it as a drop down, or you can pin it to the top just like you would a bookmark bar. So what this is, is you could do the same idea, right? Now you can favorite a task, a doc, a dashboard, a list, a folder, a space. Really, what are the things? Maybe you have a whole client space and you wanna favorite that because you click in there every single day, right? So to add something to your favorites bar, you'll just click over the three dots, click add to and add to favorites. Now you're gonna see this is up top. Let's try it with a list. So say this episode brainstorming list. I can click um, list settings, nope, just kidding, right here, add to favorites. 
and this is going to be up top here. So then if you right click on these, you can either unfavorite it or you can rename it. So sometimes I have mine as like just emojis to save some t space up there. Um, and it won't affect the original task or dashboard or the name of that. This is basically just like your favorite's nickname. So now when you see when I click into these things, I'm just able to access them super quickly bounce back and forth between them, right? So then I can go ahead and unfavorite this. It won't be there anymore. Same thing with this, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that is the favorites bar. Now let's talk about the everything view calendar. So this is something that I have set up for myself and each of my team members. And we also tell our students and our clients about this because it makes it so easy to see your capacity. So what we do is if you go on the everything level, this is where it's gonna pull information from your entire workspace, right? A lot of people don't use the everything level at first because they're like, wait, this is what it's gonna look like at first, let me show you. If I add just a random list view, it's gonna bring in all the information from my entire workspace and it'll be like, hold on, I don't know why I need to see all this. It really isn't helpful, right? But what you can do is filter out this information to say, okay, in my entire workspace, what do I wanna see? So we've created calendars for every single team member and then name it, right? So I made Christie's calendar and then I put a filter that the assignee is me. I also make sure that I show subtasks and then I also like to show priority and tags, sometimes time estimates as well. And this way I'm able to just have one calendar that says, okay, this is what I have to do today, this week, this month. And you're really able to see like holistically what you have going on in your schedule. From there, you're also able to bring things from date to date, move things around super easily. And then if you create these for team members as well, then you're able to click into their schedule and see what they have going on. Another thing about this, so this is what I check literally multiple times a day, at least once in the morning and evening. And so I also make sure that I favorite this to my favorite bar. It's literally always my first one in my favorites bar because I'm always gonna click into there to see my schedule. So another thing that you can favorite, you can also favorite a specific view. Okay, so that is the Everything View calendar. Now let's move on to another amazing feature for one of my favorite hobbies, brain dumping. So a lot of times, right, we may have a list where we're brain dumping or a document or something where it's like, you know what, I just need to get these thoughts out on paper. I don't wanna lose them. But then we end up forgetting where we put those things. One of the best places to store these ideas is in the ClickUp notepad. So again, this is not gonna be pinned, but if you do pin it, it'll show up here. And this is where basically you can see all the things that I have here. You can just create different notes for your different brain dumps and ideas. So let's just call this one new note. And then in here, you're able to just write anything you have going on, right? Whoops, that just changed my view. So I'm just gonna write my notes and then I can always access this later on. Another thing that you can do, another feature within ClickUp is slash commands. If you do forward slash, you could see all these different shortcuts that you can do to write, right? So I could do checklist, I could do tables, etc. Check out slash commands, they are amazing. Totally help you save time. Um, okay, so brain dumping, love having these notes here. And then you're able to rename, archive. You can convert this note to a task or a doc as well. You can also highlight over things and then add this as a task. So that is another feature that is amazing. And then two more things I want to go over. Thank you for sticking with me here. But there are so many amazing features. I just want to show you my faves. Um, okay, so you can also, if you're trying to get information about a task, right, you can click in here and you can 
copy the link or the ID of the task, add this, add dependencies, relationships, etc. But you can also access this menu from outside the task as well. So if I right click on the outside of the task, you'll have the same menu here again to be able to just get quick access to the stuff without needing an extra click to get into the task. Now, a lot of these features as well that I'm showing you may not be like applicable to you right this second, but just for an example, there was one time I was in my SOP library and I was trying to link the task URLs to a document and I needed to just grab specific URLs of tasks and there were say 50 tasks in my SOP library. This made it super easy because I would just right click, copy the link, paste it into the doc, same thing. Um, so all these little things, these little shortcuts add up over time and just make your life so much easier. Okay, and then one of my fave things, let me show you one more feature. This feature is the ClickUp Chrome extension. So if you haven't downloaded the ClickUp Chrome extension, number one, what you're gonna have is this little bubble on anywhere you are within your browser. And you can always click on this, hold on, click on this and you'll be able to create a new task, whether you're inside or outside of ClickUp. And then you'll also be able to track time, take a screenshot, bookmark this page, or access your notepad as well. So you saw how I had that notepad for brain dumping. Well, that is in this Chrome extension as well. But one of my absolute favorite ways to utilize this feature is in my email. So when I come into Gmail, if I have a email that I'm like, okay, there's something about this email that I have to do, right? So a client emails me, hey, we need this edit in our counter, I have this question. I'm all about inbox zero and making sure that I'm not keeping clutter in there and not having something where I literally like check on this task five times and don't do anything about it, right? So this feature, if you click this bubble right here, it's gonna bring up this menu. It's going to screenshot the entire email and I can either add this email to a new task or attach it to an existing task. So let's go ahead and add this to a new task. Okay, so I'm gonna click add new task. I'm going to say, let's say this was like respond to clients about whatever the topic is. You can then assign yourself or a team member, and amazing thing about this as well, your team member does not need to have access to your Gmail to be able to read the email attachment. So I'm gonna click, let's just say me, put on a due date, so that way you know this is not going to slip through the cracks because it's gonna show up on your calendar. And then you choose what space and folder or list you wanna put this into, right? So you have to attach it to a list. So then when I click create new task, this is gonna show up and say, okay, you've put this as a task in ClickUp. If I go into ClickUp into my admin list, now you're gonna see respond to client about X. I click in here, I'm gonna be able to see the attachment, right, the entire email, and then I can go ahead and open this up in Gmail and it'll be right inside my inbox. Talk about a time saver and the mental energy that it just takes away from worrying about things getting lost in your inbox. So then you can also click in here as well and then it'll bring you straight to that task. Again, it's so amazing. So typically after I use this Chrome extension, and say, okay, I've taken care of this, then I go ahead and file away this into my labels and archive it. So I still have access to the email, it's not deleted, but it's not sitting in my inbox causing clutter. So that is it for some of my absolute favorite ClickUp tips. I hope this was helpful for you and that you enjoyed some of these tips and that you can implement them in your ClickUp to save time and energy 
per usual. So I hope that video was helpful for you. If you are just getting started in ClickUp, I want to make sure you know about our ClickUp 101 guide. We also have another ClickUp freebie called the Simple ClickUp System. Both of these things are free resources for you at disilvalife.com slash freebies. So make sure to check them out and download them. You have nothing to lose. And if you wanna go ahead and check out all the other ClickUp tutorials on our channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because we have so many other amazing ones coming down the pipeline as well. If you have any other questions about ClickUp in general, systems, processes, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.